So I have the new Apple Watch Series 10 here in the titanium slate color, and I also have the slate link bracelet. The link bracelet actually hasn't changed from the previous one, as far as I can tell. They've only changed the color to slate. I will, of course, be comparing it to this one. So if you guys can see, I have the stainless steel link bracelet on this Apple Watch Series 9, and I've had this link bracelet since 2015. So it has lasted nearly 10 years, and it's still completely fine, like no issues with it at all. You can even see, nine years later, it still holds its shape incredibly well. Like it doesn't flex, it doesn't bend. This has been an incredible watch band and has really impressed me over the years that I've worn it. It's the one thing that I've worn the most over the last nine years, which is wild when I put it like that. Of course, people wear high-end watches like Rolexes and stuff for decades. But considering this isn't a Rolex, this is just a stainless steel link bracelet, which I think at the time cost, I think it cost like $500. They've actually lowered it now. I just looked it up to be sure, but it's now going for $350, which is quite a significant price decrease. Anyway, let's get into unboxing all of this because I'm very interested in this new Apple Watch Series 10. My Apple Watch, I wear it pretty much every single day. So packaging is very simple, just a white box. You can't even tell that it's a titanium model. It doesn't have the fancy packaging that you get with the Ultra. The Ultra packaging, the Apple Watch Ultra packaging was incredible when I first unboxed that. So yeah, let's get into this thing. So we have the watch itself. I did also get the Milanese Loop bracelet. I think that it is, is that what it's called? It is called, yeah, the Milanese Loop bracelet as well. Um, I don't anticipate using this that much because of the stainless steel link bracelet. We'll put that aside for now and we'll get into the watch. So again, you really can't tell that there's anything fancy about this one in particular. This one goes for $700, so I have the 42 mil here. I found the 46 mil just a bit too big for me. Um, so yeah, this one is the 42 mil and it goes for $700, $699 as far as I can remember designed by Apple California. There is a charging cable. What charger in here? Not much else by the looks of it. Uh, no Apple stickers or anything. And then of course we have the watch itself in this little pouch. So let's get that. I can already tell that it's thinner. Yeah, I can already tell that is noticeably thinner than my current Series 9. It also is definitely bigger even though they're calling it 42 mil, it is definitely bigger. From looking at information online, this is 10% thinner compared to the Series 9, which will be really nice because I do feel like the Apple Watch is still quite thick. It is quite a thick watch, I think, just because obviously they have to house so many things in there. But I don't know if you guys can see that. We have the Series 10, we have the Series 9. I don't know if you guys can see the thinness, it might be hard to see on camera, but I can definitely tell in person that it's thinner. So this is this slate titanium model. Uh, it basically looks black. It looks like, I actually think it might be darker than my Series 9. It looks darker, but this is titanium, which should make it lighter. It's not that the Series 9 is heavy. I actually quite like the weight that it has. It's heavier than the standard Series 9. Obviously with the stainless steel, you're going to have some extra weight, um, but I really like the weight of it. It feels hefty, it feels solid, and with it being stainless steel as well, with the special glass, because I know the stainless steel models have the tougher glass. Man, I have dropped this watch, I have scratched this watch, I have smashed it up against things by accident, and it has held up. And that has been the case with pretty much every single stainless steel Apple Watch that I've bought. It's incredible how tough they are. Like, they've really, really held up. Compared to aluminium models, I've had friends who have the aluminium models and you know, they've broken the screens quite often or they've had issues maybe just dropping it or whatever and they've got some big marks or dings on it. You can see this has been worn for a year. I have some fingerprints on it, but I've been wearing this for a year. The only scratch I can see is here, but it's very, very subtle. I don't even know if the camera will pick it up, but it's held up incredibly well over the last year. So whilst that's setting up, I've just spent a few minutes setting it up. I'm gonna let it do its thing. We're going to open up the link bracelet. So let's get into this. Oh wait, it slides out. That makes sense actually. Hey, the packaging here is quite folded. Oh wait, ah, okay. That's pretty cool actually. 
I didn't even realize that they had the instructions like this. That's changed recently. And then we can pull the link bracelet out like so. Oh wait, we have more documentation as well. Put that away. And this is the link bracelet. So yeah, $350 for this. It is not cheap and it's not meant to be because it's a very, very high end bracelet. Um, oh, there we go, we're out. It honestly looks very, very similar to my current one. It really doesn't look that much different. If we look at the colors side by side like so, you can sort of see that it's a bit lighter colored compared to my previous one. It's not as dark colored. It's definitely more of a slate color. I like it. I think it looks nice. And it's nice to have a new link bracelet. Right, so I've taken off the bracelet off my Apple Watch. This is my original stainless steel link bracelet in the, I think it's space black or black, I can't remember exactly. And then this is the new one in the slate color. You can see the difference. I think this is actually a very good example of the difference in colors. It is subtle. It's not a massive, massive difference. It is definitely subtle. You can see as well, the one that I've been wearing over the last nine years, it has gotten scratched up. It has got marks on it, but it still held up really, really well. Considering that stainless steel is usually, of course, a silvery color. I can't remember exactly the process they used to make it black, but like it's held up so, so well. So knowing that this one will also hold up the same is very reassuring because I didn't really see that many people buy the stainless steel link bracelet. As far as I can tell, it's not very popular. I've only ever met one person who has the stainless steel link bracelet and uses it every day. I even use it when I go to the gym. I don't actually change my watch strap on my Apple watch when I go to the gym. I wear my stainless steel link bracelet every single day if I'm not wearing one of my other watches. So I will be switching over to this one because of course it matches the color of this new series 10. Let's move the bracelets aside very quickly and let's bring the watches in view. So here is a good example of the size difference between the two watches. I feel like on camera here might be hard to see, but the Series 10 is definitely bigger than the Series 9. And I can already tell, like I said, it's definitely thinner. Like it is noticeably thinner. So seeing the Series 10 being this noticeably thinner, it's gonna be nice. Oh, I've just noticed a change as well. Usually the cellular models have this red ring on the crown. Now they have changed that. There is a gray ring on this one, even though it is a cellular model. On my wrist, wow, I've got a savage tan line on my wrist from wearing watches. But on my wrist, I would say that I have quite small wrists. And you can see it on my wrist here with no strap on. Just about, I think, is the right size. I think any bigger than this, it'd be too big. Do need to adjust this as well. It's quite easy to adjust. You can see these little buttons here make it easy to adjust the length of the bracelet. You don't need any special tools, which is nice because obviously most traditional watches, you need like special tools or whatever to adjust the, the length of the bracelet. I wear an Apple watch every day just for the convenience, like for health tracking, uh, fitness stuff, uh, seeing notifications, seeing the weather, seeing all these little bits of information without having to pull out my phone. Um, it almost makes me use my phone less because I use my Apple Watch, because I have my Apple Watch on my wrist. So I know that, you know, if I get a message, if I go to call, um, I can see if it's important or not and whether I need to respond to it without actually having to get my phone out. With this watch being bigger, of course, the screen is bigger. And the thing that I've noticed most is that the screen is much more to the edges, like the roundedness of the edges the screen almost like sort of spills over. It's like a curved display in a way. Um, I don't think it actually is. I think it is just the glass playing with the refractions, playing with the way it looks. But I can definitely tell that the screen is, is noticeably bigger and that should also mean you can fit more information on it. You can have more complications on it. You'll be able to just see more data on the screen itself. So as I wait for my Apple Watch to set up, I wanted to show you how quick and easy it is to change the links on the bracelet. So button here, you press it and it's out and then you can remove the other ones as well done I actually might remove this one too actually I don't think I can I've got to remove this one so move that there we go put that back on and then put this one on like so boom we've adjusted the bracelet it really is that quick and easy and if I put the watch on my wrist there we go perfect absolutely perfect and my watch is actually ready, so that's good timing. <laughs> that is very, very good timing. We can see it on my wrist. 
sits very nice and comfortably where it should. Yeah, yeah. It's thinner, but I still almost feel like I wish it was even thinner. Like, I'm really into thin watches right now. An Apple Watch, you know, it is quite a bulky thing, especially if you have small wrists. The Ultra is even bigger, and I know some people wear that every day because their wrists can actually handle a watch that big, but for me, it's just a bit too big. I much prefer the smaller size of the 42 mil. If we compare the two side by side, you can see the difference there. Everything on the screen definitely looks bigger. That's for sure. I, I can definitely see that everything looks bigger. So that is the Apple Watch Series 10 with the new stainless steel link bracelet in the slate color. If you have one of these bracelets, I don't think it's necessarily worth upgrading to the new one in the slate color. I think the original bracelet will still be completely fine. I think when it comes to the color and stuff, you really won't notice. I simply have it just because I have it. Like I just wanted to upgrade. It's not necessarily because I had to. Um, yeah, don't feel like you have to upgrade from the original, but when it comes to the Apple Watch, I think if you have something that's like a Series 5, Series 6 or Series 7, it's definitely worth upgrading to the Series 10 because the thinness, the larger screen, the battery life and everything will just be better and it'll be faster as well. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe for more.